Hi, Carol here and a warm welcome to my craft room. Well, today starts my sewing albums, my vintage sewing albums with my laces and appliques and yada yada, all my goodness, from my thrift store haul. And I needed to have some wonderful images to put on the front of the albums. And so I started watching some tutorials on YouTube, fantastic tutorials. And they said to use a freezer wrap. So I went to my local grocery store and they didn't have any white freezer wrap. So I headed over to the meat store where our butcher does the meat and I used this brown freezer wrap for masking on my cards and I use it for masking on mixed media. And I got to talking to the butcher and I said, would there be any difference using this opposed to white? And he said, I don't see any difference. And I said, okay, I'll use this. So he gave me a bolt. Yeah, a whole big roll of it. It'll last me until I'm 102 years old if I do an album every day. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so generous. And um, because I'm used to freezer paper using it for masking, I thought, this is wonderful. I'm going to give it a try. And if you're doing vintage, um, like if you're photocopying vintage images to have the brown I thought if it you know even tints it to that color I'm happy with it so I went to my thrift store haul package I haven't put that haul up yet but I bought a whole bolt of this wonderful cotton it's oh it's absolutely beautiful it's not thick it's actually nicer than my muslin and it is ivory I absolutely love it and I've got tons of it so I cut off enough to make two eight and a half by 11 sheets to go on to my meat wrap and I'm cutting it down and then I'm using my little wee ironing board there I got at a thrift store some time ago and my travel iron I bought for my craft room and I love it because you don't want water in it you don't want any steam it's a nice small travel iron and I keep it in my craft room under my sewing machine so I'm cutting it down. Look at, I'm just showing you how beautiful this cotton is. It's a thin, thin, thin cotton. Um, like almost as thin as, you know, your sheets get after about 20 years. <laughs> I don't keep my sheets that long. I just thought of that. I thought I'd throw that in because it's so nice and, I don't know, it's not a thick cotton. It's a nice fine cotton like muslin. It's just beautiful. So here I'm just making some creases so it's eight and a half by 11. And then, uh, and, and mind you, this is the first time I've used my inkjet printer to do any type of imaging on cotton and freezer paper. But everybody else was just, you know, when I saw them saying how affordable this was, well, I couldn't resist it. So I thought, what is there to lose? Absolutely nothing. So I got out my iron, it's nice and hot. Put it on my ironing board here and I want to get all the wrinkles out of this cotton and I'm telling you it's absolutely look at it you can almost see through it it's beautiful yet it has substance to it I absolutely scored there at the thrift store with this bolt and so once I have both of them done we're going to move on and I'll show you how you take your freezer paper and you put it on and then I went downstairs and I went to our printer and I got out a couple of images and bam, yes, they came out beautiful. So once I had this all ironed and all of the wrinkles out of it, I grabbed the freezer paper and I am telling you, I was so pleased with the outcome. And you just want to go on to your computer and look for vintage, I put vintage sewing ladies uh, free downloads. And uh, I got beautiful images up and I want I'm doing a sewing album so here I took the freezer paper and I put my cotton on top of the shiny side not the dull side but the side that looks like saran wrap and I am putting the heat applying the heat with my iron to the cotton to that shiny uh, saran wrap side and this is going to allow me to peel the image off and you want to make sure that your cotton doesn't have any fibers on it and as many wrinkles out as you possibly can. You don't want to get stuck in your printer. And then when I got downstairs, I cut it out perfectly to an 8.5 by 11 sheet. 
and I'm going to suggest one thing when you put it through your printer. So there you have it. Isn't that gorgeous? I took out all the paper out of the print out of the printer, right? So that just this went through. And on this image, I'm going to show you. I sized it so I had this image on there and it came out perfect. But turn it around. This is how the first time came out. I did not hold it inside. I took all the paper out of it and I had just that, but it didn't grab it to feed it. It only grabbed it on the one side. So when I turn the paper over and my paper goes in so that the brown is on the top and the white is on the bottom because it feeds it up. But I am going to use this. I'm not going to waste any of it. And it came out absolutely stunning, a beautiful ivory. And then if you have inks and you want to ink vintage it up with Distress ink or uh, any of the inks that you have, you can do that when you apply it to your album. And I will show you that on the next on the project that I do on the album. But I next time I kept the door open to the feed and I put that one sheet in and I just put my hand up in there to hold it. And then as it grabbed it, I knew it grabbed it perfectly. And so you'll see in my next image, it came out lovely. So here I am going to use these images. I'm just trying to figure out um, that crease there. And it, it didn't harm the printer at all. It just that I didn't uh, push it up far enough. And one side was pushed up, but the other wasn't. And so it just grabbed the corner. So that way, I think... Uh, on the second one, I just slid my hand in and I helped feed it. So I knew that both ends, both of the corners were going in at the same time. So I'm cutting this down and I am going to use it on a pocket inside the album. It came out wonderfully. I'm just going to slide over here by the scissors because I don't want to cut it off. And isn't this gorgeous? I just love it. And then I thought, you know what? I can distress this or I can use my distress sprays. There's so much you can do if you don't like the um, ivory color. I was wondering how my next sheet would come out because I picked vintage ladies from, uh, you know, really colorful and from the 1800 era. I wanted them bright and vivid and I wanted to see if my printer, isn't that pretty, would print them out on this cotton and I'm telling you, absolutely stunning. And look at that, every color that was on my computer came out on this brown freezer wrap. I am totally, totally pleased. You know, you get a bolt of, uh, I think I paid for the bolt of cotton, I paid $2. I got the freezer paper for nothing. So this is a good deal to be able to do these images. The only thing you pay for is your uh, ink, right? So thank you so much for joining me and I'm going to go in the craft room and start my album. I can't wait to use these images and I hope this video helps you. Have a blessed week.